Okay, today I'm going to be showing how we can know the Earth is rotating. So what I want to show here is if you've ever been to museums or anywhere and seen a huge pendulum swinging, you've heard that the Earth rotates underneath it and that's why it looks like the pendulum rotates, but really it's the Earth rotating underneath it. But for me, when I was younger, it was always hard to understand because the pendulum's hooked to the top of the museum or wherever it is. So how does the earth spin underneath it? Because the pendulum is on the earth. So I built this little thing here so you can see what it looks like when you're on the earth with my GoPro here and what it looks like at a fixed point in space off the earth up here. So what's going on here is a perfect pendulum always stays in its same plane of motion. So it always wants to keep that same plane of motion. Okay, so first let's view from outer space. I'm going to start our initial swing and then move the earth underneath it and let's see what it looks like. And I'll put a line up there for reference. Start the initial swing. So, but usually you're not on the North Pole or the South Pole, and so the, uh, the length of procession for the pendulum is usually longer than 24 hours. When you're on the North Pole, it takes 24 hours for the Earth to spin one full rotation. So what it looks like for you is that it took 24 hours for the pendulum to process all the way around. But when you're not on the North or South Pole, it actually takes longer than that because you add another degree of rotation and so the pendulum is actually turning a little bit with the earth and so it takes longer to get around. And when you're on the equator, if you were to swing a pendulum, it looks like it doesn't even move. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and you can comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see next time. Give me some cool ideas and I'll try to do them and I'll see you next time.